Hello and welcome back. And we left this uh, game where we've now got Sharky the right size and the right way round. We put some coding in and we've been able to get Sharky to move. So as you can see, here he is moving around our, our seabed scene. So at the moment we've got to give now we've got to give Sharky some food to catch. And to do that, we're going to need to get a new sprite. Well, we'll get one from scratch, and this is what we're going to do. We'll go to the sprite icon where it says choose sprite from library. We're obviously underwater, and I will want the starfish. So I click OK. Now, this starfish is too big, so I can go up to this one which says shrink and click it, so it will go down here. So we select it, bring it here, and just bring the starfish down to say that. Now we need to be able to code our starfish. So what we'll do, you can see we have the starfish here and that there is currently no coding for it. If I click on Sharky, we have coding. If I click on the starfish, we don't. So we're going to start with when clicked. And we're going to make sure that it is on show. So that means we have to make sure we can see our starfish. And what we'll do, we need to have a loop because it's going to keep doing something until it is stopped. So it's going to repeat until. So we want this one because there has to be a condition. Okay, It's going to keep swimming around until what? Well, until it actually touches Sharky. So till touching, not the mouse pointer, but Sharky. So it's going to do whatever it does, and as soon as Sharky touches this starfish, it's going to stop. So what's the starfish going to do until it is stopped by Sharky? Well, it's going to move, and so we'll need to move. Now Sharky needs to catch it. So we'll make it go a bit slower. So instead of 10 steps, we'll make it go four. Again, if it's on the edge, it's going to bounce. So what we'll need to do is to go if on edge, it needs to bounce. And we want it to simply turn the other way. So it needs to set its rotation style left to right, just like we did with Sharky. Now that's going to get it going, but we want to have a scoring system. And so we need to create something called a variable. Now, we'll talk about variables in a minute, but I want you to go down to data. And we'll need to make a variable. We're going to call this one eaten. It's going to apply to all the sprites and we're going to click OK. Now, we need to change eaten by one. So this is saying that when Sharky catches a starfish, he gets one point for it. And you can see up here, we have a scoring system. So for every one of starfishes that are caught, we'll increase it by one. Once Sharky has caught the starfish, we want it to disappear. So we need to go to and find hide. And then we want the script to stop. We don't want the starfish to suddenly appear. So we need to go and stop. Not everything, but just this particular script. So let's just go through that again. We're going to, when clicked, that's the flag, our starfish will show, so they're going to show up. It's going to keep swimming around the starfish until Sharky catches it. The starfish goes a little bit slower than Sharky, 
and when it hits an edge it's going to bounce back and it's going to simply turn around and come back in. When Sharky has eaten or when Sharky has touched the starfish that means it's eaten it and this variable, this container, this thing called eaten is going to increase by one. Also the starfish will disappear and won't come back because of this script. Let's see what happens. Right, so here's Sharky. I'm bringing him down. He's eaten, and eaten has increased by one. Well, that's great, but we probably want a few starfish. So, what we do is we duplicate. Duplicate and duplicate. So we've now got four starfish. And for each starfish, they have identical code. So let's just go and change the number of steps for this one. And let's make this one 8. Let's make this one the same as Sharky. Make it 10. And let's make this one a real speedy Gonzales. And let's make this one a 14. Okay. So, what should happen now is that when I click the button, we should have Sharky and one, two, three, four starfish coming along. So let's have a go. There are our starfish, and I'm moving Sharky, and I'm going to catch him, and there are our variable on five. So right now we have a working game. But I want you to add extra things to it. And so in my ed, you will see an extension task where you can add an octopus, uh, a bonus fish, and a diver. So I'd like you to work through the coding there or make up your own coding to meet those requirements. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.